All right, what's going on, uh, Niner Faithful? Welcome back uh, to another video. So, um, so I haven't uploaded in the past couple days. I try to keep this a daily, like a daily um, channel type thing. But there hasn't been much news that's broken the NFL. That's why I really haven't been on here covering anything. Um, but uh, let me just actually hold on. This is going to be so much more easier if I just set this thing up. About right, right there. Let me let me unlock the computer. All right, so, um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. There really hasn't been much news that's broke the NFL, but there was a 49er rumor. Uh, that rumor actually was, sorry for that lie. I'm going to try to stay in it as much as I can. Um, so there was some news um, earlier this week about um, Jarek McKinnon, um, or believed to be Jarek McKinnon, or Matt Breida. Uh, we're involved in a trade, a, a potential trade, um, p potential trade talks. Um, so rumor had, <clears throat> excuse me, rumor had it that, um, Jarek McKinnon, uh, the Eagles were trying to trade for Jarek McKinnon or one of their running backs on the, uh, the current 49ers roster. Philadelphia needs a running back. Um, you know, they really never had a good, decent running game in, in, unless Darren Sproles was in the backfield, but that was back in the day. Um. But yeah, they really haven't had a decent run game. With LeGarrette Blunt. it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. Um, I don't even remember where LeGarrette Blunt went. Detroit, that's where he went. Um, but anyways, so I don't know what the Eagles had to offer for uh, one of our running backs, but I'm just going to say this now. The 49ers have four running backs on the roster. Those running backs being starting Jarek McKinnon, um, you know, back up to him, uh, kind of tier to him, uh, Matt Breida, and then Raheem Mostert, and then we have Tevin Coleman now. Tevin Coleman, obviously, is better than, um, he is better than Raheem Mostert. Raheem, Raheem Mostert is good, but he's not on Tevin Coleman's level, and that could be just because Tevin Coleman's played in the league longer. Uh, but anyways, Tevin Coleman, Matt Breida, Raheem Mostert, and Jarek McKinnon. As you guys know, Jarek McKinnon is coming off that ACL injury, which could affect, depending on how he plays, could affect his, um, it could uh, affect his, you know, playing, or, I mean, playing time. Um, so, this is the thing. I love, honest to God, my two favorite pickups that the Niners have had this offseason so far is uh, Tevin Coleman. I loved that signing. That was a damn good signing. Uh, Tevin Coleman on the two-year $10 million deal. And then D. Ford, who we acquired from the Kansas City Chiefs for a 2020 second round pick. Um, and then we ended up signing um, D. Ford to a five year, $87.5 million deal. If you haven't watched that reaction video, it's on the channel down below. Um, or it's on my channel, just scroll down. Uh, anyways, back to the trade, the trade talks. If it's me, and I'm the 49ers front office, I am not trading Matt Breida. No matter what people get, unless it's like insane offer, but. I'm not getting, I would rather get rid of Jared McKinnon, and this is coming from a football fan who knows a lot about the 49ers, like a ton, um, I know a shit ton about the NFL, that's not to brag, I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there, um, but I'm trading Jared McKinnon before I, uh, before I even think about trading Matt Breida, why? Matt Breida, for one, he, he's cheap, um, he's still on a rookie contract, so obviously you're getting, um, that's a plus. He's very, very quick off the ball. When when Matt Breida would come in for Carlos Hyde sometimes in the 2017 season, I always thought Matt Breida came off the ball more explosive than Carlos Hyde ever did. Carlos Hyde was more of a power back. Matt Breida came off the ball within an instant, and obviously his 4-3-9 40-yard dash time kind of sealed the deal with him just seeing a, a shit ton of green grass. So, yeah, before I would even think about trading Matt Breida, um, I'm going to trade Jarek McKinnon before anything. Now there, I don't, we don't know who the running back was in the talks, unless I'm just blind and I haven't seen news about it. But all we know is the Eagles were in trade talks and possibly, more than likely, still might be for a running back on the 49ers roster. Obviously, it wouldn't be Tevin Coleman. I highly, highly doubt they're going to trade Matt. If they trade Matt Breida, for one, that'll be a bad move. Um, and two. Jarek McKinnon, I am in way more in love with Matt Breida's talent than I am Jarek McKinnon's. That's just from seeing him 
with Minnesota. Now, that could change depending on, you know, what he does in San Francisco next season. But either way, I'm trading Jarek McKinnon before I trade Matt Breida. That's that. If you guys think I'm crazy, you must not watch football games because I'm sure a lot of other Niners fans uh, would rather see Jarek McKinnon be traded before Matt Breida is traded. So, but yeah, um, I don't know. Um, well... What am I trying to say? Okay, I don't know if it was Jarek McKinnon or Matt Breida. I think I just went over that. But either way, um, yeah, Matt Breida stays before, um, or Matt Breida is de would definitely, in my in my vision, be a no-brainer to not trade rather than, you know, um, Matt Breida. I would rather trade Jarek McKinnon than Matt Breida is what I'm basically trying to say. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys think about that. Um, like I said, we don't know if this is like 100% true about the, you know, the Jarek McKinnon, but a lot of Eagles fans um, have paged, like I follow the 49ers hashtag on Twitter, or not on Twitter, on Instagram, and I seen a report and this one Eagles fan said he believed it was Matt Breida, but then I got to look and I was like, you know what, the 49ers would be stupid to trade Matt Breida over Jarek McKinnon. It's just not a smart, it's not the smartest move because Matt Breida can easily have a starting job in the NFL right now. And considering that, you know, a lot of our running backs right now have a lot of versatility, you know, Tevin Coleman, Jarek McKinnon, versatile, um, very versatile actually. Um, come off screen pass, screen passes. You guys get the whole point. And Matt Breida can do that too. But Matt Breida, Matt Breida is quicker than Jarek McKinnon. That's, you know, a no-brainer. That's kind of a big plus to Jerem, or to um, Matt Breida. And Tevin Coleman um, has the same 40-yard dash time as Matt Breida. Obviously, Tevin Coleman's aged. But either way, you guys get the gist. Um, definitely trade Jarek McKinnon before you even think about trading Matt Breida. Um, I just think that'd be dumb for the 49ers to go out there and trade um, Jarek McKinnon or trade Matt Breida. When Jarek McKinnon's coming off an ACL, yes, Matt Breida was tweaked up. He had the tweaked ankle, um, you know, last season. But other than that, Matt Bre when Matt Breida was healthy, even 90% healthy, he was probably the best back on our roster last year. Be well, I mean, Jarek McKinnon didn't play, but he was the best back on our roster because he started um, when Jarek McKinnon went down. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Jarek McKinnon... Would you, if you were the 49ers right now and you're John Lynch and Eagles are on the phone talking about a trade. By the way, forgot to mention this. The trade involved Nelson Aguilar, um, or As Aguilar or whatever. Ne ne what's his name? Nelson Aguilar or Aguilar. Um, that, there's trade talks with that, um, you know, Matt Britt. I believe the two players that came or were in, um, were in talks were Nelson Aguilar Wide receiver from the Eagles, number 13. You guys have probably seen him. He's a stud. And then the other name that popped up was Jarek McKinnon. If you trade Jarek McKinnon for, like, Nelson Aguilar and, like, maybe draft picks, I'm sure there would be draft picks associated in that deal if it were to happen. That's a decent trade because, for one, you got another Jarek McKinnon on the roster known as Tevin Coleman now. I'm just saying. But either way, Jarek McKinnon goes before Matt Breda does, in my opinion. <clears throat> I think it's just dumb for the 49ers not to do that. Because they would definitely regret it. Uh, but either way, let me know what you guys think. Um, would you trade Jerick McKinnon over Matt Breida or Matt Breida over Jerick McKinnon? And let me know why in the comments down below. But, um, yeah, just kind of went over the trade talks that were with the 49ers and were associated with the 49ers uh, past week or so. So um, I'm, I'm going to definitely keep updated on this situation. And when I get updated, I'm going to let you guys know, obviously, because I know a lot of you guys in the comments section – come from, you know, for one, come from all over, and uh, a lot of you guys left in my comments, I don't remember your names, but you know who you are, um, that they, they, uh, I'm their number one go-to for 49ers news, which is, it's, it's pretty sweet knowing that somebody out there actually goes to me for news, I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool, so shout out, you know who you are, um, uh, yeah, shout out to you, um, but anyways, um, with that being said, Go Niners, Matt Breida over Jarek McKinnon. Excuse me, Jarek McKinnon over Matt Breida.